I hate to use that cliche, love at first sight, but it really is. The 2002 really appealed to me. I saw it and was so enamored by the look of it. In the 80s and 90s, all you saw were E30s everywhere. When I caught my eye on a 70 2002, immediately I knew that that was the car that I wanted because it was different than the other cars out there. What makes it very popular is the drivability of it, the vintage feel. They're just so beautiful and very enjoyable to drive. So I think that's why they call it the ultimate driving machine. Tesoro in Latin means sweetheart or treasure and I felt like with all the different unique items that are on Tesoro like the Hirschman antenna, the Noya class steering wheel with the old BMW lettering on it, the different parts that I've sourced and have customized, I felt like this was my treasure so that's the name that I wanted to give my car. My name is Lisa and I'm driving a 1973 BMW 2002. this car knowing that it would be my keeper car and I had driven the car to pick up some parts. On my way back home my clutch master cylinder went out on me. I called a tow and the tow truck driver came and backed into the nose of my car. I felt like gosh you know I guess I'm gonna have to start my restoration now so <laughs> I ended up starting the restoration. I didn't think I'd be into it so quickly but I after going into it, and because this is my third 2002 that I've ever owned, I knew exactly what would be going into my keeper car. The interior, I think, speaks for itself, but it's got a cool vintage feel to it. I just kind of added the leather with the Alcantara suede and kind of designed it to have a fluid design throughout the inside of the car. This car has a Performance M10 engine. It's not a stock engine. It's a little bit modified. It's got a 3838 Weber. Shorty header from Ireland Engineering, stainless steel exhaust, BBS rims that were custom done. I wanted to make sure it had a five speed. It has the Bluetooth distributor, M3 alternator. I try to keep a lot of the mechanics on it pretty stock. and keeping it a little bit more original than make it too modified or anything. So it has a small performance engine in it, but I, I love it because it gives me enough pep to when I want to drive it the way I do. Driving a vintage vehicle is a lot more work, but because you're putting a lot of work in a car, it kind of makes you feel like in a sense of accomplishment. And if you do something wrong or if something goes wrong, you are kind of stuck with it. So it's nice to make sure that you keep up the maintenance on the cars. And by keeping up the maintenance on the cars, you become more in tune with the cars. It is a sense of accomplishment knowing that you're keeping it on the road, you're keeping it going, and people love seeing it. Knowing that you're help preserving these cars basically is who we are as vintage car people. Driving a manual car feels second nature to me. You know, I feel one with the car. I'm the one making it move. I'm the one shifting the gears. That skill is going away, and it is a skill because if you do something wrong or put it in the wrong gear, it's, you know, you're done. Basically, you're hurting something on the car. It, it's a skill to continue to have, and I really hope that that doesn't go away for a lot of the cars. You have vintage cars, and you have these exotic cars, and you have autonomous cars, and cars are just evolving. 
But when you get in a car and drive, it's like dancing. You in the car are out there on the road, and it's just you two. It just gives you a sense of thrill and excitement because you are the one that's in control. to be driven. We use cars for point A to point B, but why not do that tastefully? <laughs> you know, to be driving a car is different than being in a car that's autonomous. You lose that feeling of drivability or becoming a driver. You know, we should all care for them and continue to drive them. And by preserving these vintage cars, I think that's the way to do it. Vintage cars do have a monetary value. When people see them on the road, they're kind of shocked. You know, like, wow, I can't believe you drove this car out here. I love taking my cars out for rides. I feel like they need their exercise. You need to take them out, let their fluids run through, let them get some air. The reason why I drive my cars is to show people that you should love what you have and showcase it and you know these are arts in motion basically and why not drive your art piece out there because i built this car from ground up and put every little detail and my personality in this car i absolutely Love that feeling that I could drive my dream car. I've been through all the sweat and tears through the restoration, but to finally have it and drive it is the most rewarding feeling.